Shalom Yasharala, this is Yeshaya. Uh, just want to go into something here. First and foremost, um, I forgot the name of the, the brothers. Somebody sent me a video where they was at camp speaking and somebody said that they smoke weed and then they was like, you know, us two or whatever, or they was agreeing with smoking weed. And then I just saw a video where the same brothers were responding to the backlash that they got uh, because they said that. Now, I'm going to start by saying that this is not an attack on them. I don't know them. Um, the one brother does look familiar in the passenger seat. This is simply correcting uh, what they kind of said, um, more or less. Uh, they, they were right that it's not unlawful according to the, you know, the, the Levitical law. But it doesn't it doesn't make it right to do either. There's a lot of things that are in the Old Testament, um, particularly in the in the first five books of the Bible. And there's a lot of things that are outside of the law that are things that we still must be um, mindful of. So, without further ado, I'm going to read. This is from the National. Institute of Drug Abuse. All right, I'm going to start I'm going to start a little higher from here. Marijuana overactivates parts of the brain that contain the highest number of these receptors. The cause the causes the high that people feel other effects other effects include altered senses, altered sense of time, changes in mood, impaired body movement, Difficulty with thinking and problem solving. Impaired memory, hallucinations, delusions, psychosis. This can all happen to you when you're smoking marijuana. Uh, marijuana also affects brain development. When people begin using marijuana as teenagers, the drug may impair thinking, memory, and learning functions and affect how the brain builds connections between the ne areas necessary for these functions. Researchers are still studying how long marijuana's effects last and whether some changes may be permanent. For example, a study from New Zealand conducted in part by researchers at Duke University showed that people who started smoking marijuana, it's a lot, oh, there you go, heavily in their teens and had an ongoing marijuana use disorder lost an average of eight IQ points between ages 13 and 38. The lost mental abilities didn't fully return in those who quit marijuana as adults. So you can lose brain functions permanently if you smoke marijuana. Notice it says who started smoking marijuana. It doesn't say anything about edibles because that's another thing. You know, I don't see anything personally wrong with edibles. You know, I, I'm... I'm guilty myself. I've never smoked weed in my life. Definitely have taken edibles. Those who started smoking marijuana as adults didn't show notable IQ declines. So at the very least, the, the damage is a lot less if you start older. But still shouldn't fuck with it at all either. This right here isn't really a major point. I mean, y'all can read it for yourselves. This isn't in the National Institute for drug abuse let's see what are the other health effects of marijuana physical effects breathing problems marijuana smoke irritates the lungs and people who smoke marijuana frequently can have the same breathing problems as those who smoke tobacco these problems also oh salak these problems include daily cough and phlegm more frequent lung illness and a higher risk of lung infections. Researchers so far haven't found a higher risk for lung cancer in people who smoke marijuana. Increased heart rate. Marijuana raises heart rate for up to three hours after smoking. This effect may increase the chance of heart attack. Heart attack. You can get a, you, it can cause you to have a heart attack. Older people and those with heart problems may be at higher risk. So you brothers that have heart problems, you can't smoke weed and, you know, we already know about the, the, the pregnancy 
intense nausea and vomiting. Regular long-term marijuana use can lead to some people to develop canna cannabinoid hyperemesis syndrome. This causes users to uh, experience regular cycles of severe nausea, vomiting, and dehydration, sometimes requiring uh, emergency medical attention. Now, I'm going to bring it back to the basics. 1 Corinthians 3 and 16. Know ye not that ye are the temple of the Most High, and that the Spirit of the Most High dwelleth in you. If any man defile the temple of the Most High, him shall the Most High destroy. For the temple of the Most High is holy, which temple ye are. So we just read, we just read how smoking marijuana does cause uh, long-term effects, especially when you start from a young age and especially when you smoke a lot. Um, to, to offset that, if you still insist on taking in marijuana, try edibles. It might take longer for you to get high, but it, it's healthier. You know, I, I'm, I'm speaking to you. I drink a lot of liquor, so I'm, I'm, I understand that, that, uh, you know, the, the need to do something, you know, to, to kind of take the edge off. Uh, deal with the depression, the pain of being in this in this society. But what what I can't agree with is for you to say defiling your temple is perfectly fine. You should, you know, you brothers that tell you not to defile your temple are uh, what what do you call them? Fossils or dinosaurs or something? I don't know. One West dinosaurs. I forgot what he said, but. You know, again, this is not an attack on his person um, or, or his character or anything. I don't know the fella or the other one. I'm just saying, I'm just correcting what was said because it's wrong. The way it, it almost seems like, like they're just saying it's perfectly fine to smoke weed. It's not. And with that, I conclude my lesson here. Shalom.